My girlfriend Brittany cheated on me, then has the nerve to lie and backpedal to me about it. I've heard rumors from friends and neighbors about people being snuck into our home. She would also go meet men at other places. And that's why I think I'm not the biological father of her two children. It breaks my heart because I stepped in as a father to those two children for years. I've been gone for over a year because I feel like those children are not mine. Why did you call wanting a DNA test for your two children? I'm just, I'm tired of being conceived as the bad guy. Mm -hmm. I'm tired of my character being put down, me being called a cheater, a liar, and just to prove that those are his kids. So from your opinion, why did Cody walk out on you and your kids? <clears throat> We've just been going through it for a really long time, and we both agreed together that it was best for him just to leave. When did Cody begin denying CJ? He had found some papers from the hospital from like the birth certificate type of situation. And it states on the bottom of it that if there's no paternity established in the hospital and you sign the birth certificate, you have no rights. Mm -hmm. So he thought that I did that intentionally. Got it, got it. Do you think Cody looks like your son? Yes, 100%. Yes. Yeah, 100%. Yeah. And you stayed together, but then Cody was arrested. What happened? Yes, yes. Um, he had gotten into an altercation, and he had went to jail. But then it got to him not believing that my daughter was his because him being away, you know, after I had gotten pregnant with her. And was Cody there when your daughter was born? When she was born, he was on, I think he was still on house arrest. Okay. Um, but he was able to come to the hospital. Got it. Yes. So he was on house arrest. Yep. Do you think Cody looks like your daughter? She does, but she favors me a lot. A lot more. Yeah. Understandable. Okay. Well, listen, um, it's now time to meet Cody, who Brittany claims is the father of her two children. Everyone, please welcome Brittany's former boyfriend, Cody Pulisera. Why do you think she's been cheating for nine years? What reason? What reason? What, why do I need, why did I need to cheat Snapchat, on you? Snapchat, Instagram, Facebook, your job. You had access the neighbors. to everything of mine. I did not have access to everything okay. of yours. Okay. And speaking okay. of, you never even gave me truth. And when did you first think that your son was not your biological child? Uh, I say about a year after his conception. Mm -hmm. I was there the whole nine years. I was doing everything from childcare, pickups, drop-offs, everything what while you, you worked, right? Years? What have you done in two years? What have I done in two years? Toward the country. So why did I've you I've been stop? on a sabbatical. So why did you stop? What's, what made you stop at that moment? No love, no compassion, no understanding, no so, mercy, no grace. So whenever you are constantly accused of being disloyal and constantly Hold on. being put you down. You weren't just being what? accused. I found Snapchat messages. I went through your phone. I went through your watch. You I brought every single find? proof What'd to you. What did you find on my watch? What did you find? No, it said number one. No. Hold no, on, no. hold on, hold no. on. No, no, we ain't finna do that and you're not gonna sit here and no. Nah. So somebody was coming over to me. Uh -huh. The person, whoever it was, was like, okay, that's no problem. How about I come in through one of the windows? Whoa. What did you say? So just to clear that up, Facebook Messenger, you can change people's names. You can give people nicknames. If she got answers for everything. Do that. That, As do that, you. That's, that's, that's you something that's always anything. bothered me. That's all you do. Talk your way in circles yep. until you believe it. Mm-hmm. Mm. You Regardless, always I understand how it could have looked on the, when he was looking through my watch because you don't get a photo reference or anything yeah, you just with see that. that name. You just see the name and the message. So when he brought this to my attention, I pulled out my phone, showed him the message, you click on it, go to the profile. Yeah. Like, I want to ask you, do you think, Cody, that your son looks like you? Yeah. I, I, I see the resemblance. Uh -huh. it, it's nothing about the children. It's nothing against the children. It's her. It's that simple. Got it. Because but if, he if resembles everything you, how was he going well, if I didn't have any questions or doubts, I would still be there. We had these discussions. We had these confrontations. I brought you evidence. I brought you skepticism. I brought you concern. And every single time, you dismissed it. Is that true? It's I could true not in get mind. an emotion me, out of me. her. 
me and him in a relationship, it, it goes as far as he wants it to go. Just because I'm only allowed to say what I want to say, and then it just becomes everything that I have Everything that I have to say has no weight. No, but you condescend just, me with the constant. children. This is it. I never, I'm never able to speak anything because it's always She's him. trying to paint me out to be some I'm sort of monster. I'm not trying to paint. I just want some, the results. That's all I, I want. The and we can go our separate also. way. That's all but it is the thing for me. is, we went, this is the third time that we're trying this. Is that correct? Third time I we're tried trying to, I, I tried to take my son to the DNA center myself. I couldn't do it because I had to have her present. Even though my name is on the birth certificate and he has my whole entire name. Right. Why wouldn't that you allow didn't it? happen? Wouldn't because she didn't, didn't want to do it no. then. I then didn't. then Why didn't tax you season. Do it? If, if he's accusing you and you had an opportunity to get done before, why didn't you just do it? I, I, stalling out. Yeah, she stalling me I'm out. She stalled me out yeah. the whole time. I had the money tax time. Nothing but he's rebuttal. Nothing but denial. Okay. For a DNA then she's test. trying to he's make it and make me, me seem okay. like I'm just so belligerent. Well, you made me this way. No, I didn't. Don't use that. Get out of here. That's belligerent. You, you, you foaming out you, the mouth. You, you expect for somebody to be by your side for as long as we were, and for me to go through you, you just putting me down constantly. Uh, hold on, what's your definition of love? I don't have one. I know you don't. When's the last time you felt love? It doesn't when matter. When I gave it to you, it right? It doesn't matter, we're not here for that. Oh, because you don't know that. We're not you here for You don't need that. that. We're here for the You're good, for the I know, and once we get these results, it don't matter what they are, I've already made my decision. That's good, I'm glad. I gave you two kids. We finna see, ain't we? Are, aren't we? So you moved to a different state. I went to uh, Florida to see my parents. Then from Florida, I drove to California and I started my sabbatical. Meanwhile, I was me cleansing and the kids myself. Were good. I was, the kids I was were good. finding myself again. Mm -hmm. This was the only thing that was fueling me Got in it. essence. Because if this would have never happened, I probably ain't no telling where I'd be. Ain't no telling how I'd be thinking. Mm -hmm. So I, I take this as a blessing also. Got it. I gotta know this, what do you miss most about those kids? Just the life they give me, the respect they give me, the, the acknowledgement, the love. Mm -hmm. I've never, my whole life, Yeah. nobody's been there. Brittany, I know that you said to my producers that he's missed out on a lot of things in these mm -hmm. past year, and you gave them a list of things that he you has. wanted me to see. What is it? So you said he missed out on CJ's birthday, Camilla's birthday, CJ's football practices, CJ's football game, first day of school. One, 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 I was there for it. Everything. I've been so there, you were for there for everything. You were there for these things. Not for this year? No. Not for this I wasn't. So no, about, I wasn't. We're not talking about before. But we're you left. talking about what led up to this. Oh, we're talking to what about led your up kids to me and what leaving. you missed out on. You and your talking about no, we're here for the kids. Yeah, we're here for the kids. We're not here about the None of that matters. It do matter. No, That's what led to this. Okay, well here we are now. Yep. And these are the things that you missed. Yep, so let's go. So what do you plan on doing if you are their biological father? Fathering from Florida. Do you plan mm -hmm. on fathering from Florida? I plan on being a father regardless where I am in this country. I don't know what that means, though. And you don't need to know because you don't know what love is either. Okay. What is this that you're pulling out? Um, his, his son wrote him a letter because he knew I was going to see him today. Mm. Dear Dad, why did you leave me, Camilla, Mom? You've been gone for two years. You missed all of my football games and practices. And you know what hurts me the most? When I've tried to communicate and call when I was on the road, where were you? You didn't answer. I didn't have you no reply. You didn't reply. I didn't you have didn't no didn't reason to answer. You see that? I didn't have no you reason to that? answer in the beginning. You left us. On good terms, right? In the beginning, yeah. But not when you dipped off and left. Dipped no, off in and the left. beginning, it was a mutual thing. You was coming back. You wasn't staying gone. And then you just up and decided to leave Hold in the middle on. of the so night. So whose time am I on? Your time or my time? You're on the kids' I time. I have to build. I how You're can I don't sit here and be a smart ass about it? Uh, I could be a smart because ass. Because when I was pouring my time into it, where were you? At home with my kids and you. 
Can we get this over with? Because yeah, this is, I actually this, want to get to these results. Getting, Let's get to these this, results. This is, we have the, the truth right here. The DNA outcome is in this envelope. This is for your first child. And we have a second one for your second child. This will confirm if you are their father or if you are not. I'll give you the first envelope so that you can open it and find out. Thank you. The only reason I questioned anything was because you were never there with me. Open the results, man. Hold on. I'm, I'm, hold I'm, on, I'm, hold on, hold on. Just open it. I want to know, yeah. Just open it. Cody is my biological Thank son. Thank you. Yep. And here goes your sure second one. That. Oh, I'm a keeper. Make sure. Yep. Put it on TikTok, social media. So that's where you get your happiness. Cody, Camilla is your biological hey, dog. Hey, hey. Weird. Thank you. Weird how that happens. Thank you. Okay. You got answers, but I noticed Thank something. I, I'm glad you got your answers. I'm glad you know this. But well, there's something that I realized very quickly. What's going on in your head right now? Are you happy? It's just so much pain. I've been that, in pain this whole time. I feel you, but the pain, what I wrote here is your pain is overshadowing your feelings for your kids in this moment. Because even when your ex gave you this letter from your child, instead of taking a moment to process their feelings and what they're experiencing, you're hurt that you experienced in this long-term relationship that has been over, overshadowed you t diving into that. And I've, I even when, before you about to open the results and get the results, you also had to start attacking. And I get it. I see where the breakdown is. I see some of your, ins your insecurities, your self-esteem issues, how they've affected your mental health. I see the same for you. And I've seen how you shut down, how there's a lack of communication. Mm -hmm. I can understand why he feels like there's yeah. a lack of empathy. I can see all of that. Yeah. I understand all of that. But at the end of the day, if your concern is the kids, then it doesn't matter. And I think now that you know that these are your kids, you have to make sure and do the work. And I be actually believe you will. But you can't allow your feelings that you've had in the past that you've had to ever seep into what you're feeling about these, bi these kids. Because, I, again, I respect you to wanting to take a sabbatical. But at the end of the day, for you, it's like, I'm taking away from you. I'm getting away from you. I'm clearing my mind. But that little boy, that little girl are sitting there like, he's leaving us. They He's need me us. to be clear also. I know. I'm not, that, say, I'm, not know? Saying, I'm not saying they don't need you to be clear. I feel like you understand what it is to have parents who don't communicate what moves and actions they're making and how when they don't tell you what it is, how you make up those own, your stories in your mind. Because I even hear that through, with assumption, because I don't know, that I'm sure you didn't have a lot of family support in your life, that there wasn't a lot of people that you could turn to. No, nothing. So you didn't have anybody. And now here it is, you're trying to get yourself together, which I agree, we all gotta be mentally sound, but those kids are not gonna understand that. Yeah. And when your son wrote your letter and said, you missed my, my practice, but there was something you said in that letter that really hit. He said, why did you leave me? Right. That was a clear indication that no matter what you two are going through and what you've experienced, you don't want him to be 31 day on the stage saying, my father left me. And he needs me. He needs you. I've never wanted to leave. I know. I've I know. never wanted to leave. I know. But the unfortunate part is that you did. And I get that. I get and it that it was, for, it was for you to get yourself together. I get it. But at this point now, there has to be more communication. This relationship is done. You both have clearly shown. It's toast. Toast. Done. Finished. But now, at the end of the day, this is where the co-parenting starts. This is where the only priority has to be. Every time, has to be those kids. Every time you want to say something to her, you have to redirect and channel that energy towards love towards your kids. Transmutation. You gotta, you gotta re-channel that. A parent missing for a year, two years, they feel as if they've been gone their entire life. And I've been crying every night. I cry every night. I get it. I was losing myself entirely. I had to go. He misses his dad. I hear that all the time. They miss you. And I'm not telling you that you gotta move or do whatever. I can't control that. But what I know is that what I saw on the <laughs> stage of the pain y'all have can't, can't affect these kids anymore. Well, I'm glad that y'all we were here and I'm glad here. that you have your answers. I'm sorry that there was such a breakdown in whatever y'all had together. But at the end of the day, 
you now know and you've seen it. I just need to tell you, rechannel the energy because these kids need you. So I wish y'all the best of luck and Thank I you. wish y'all and those kids the best of luck as well. Thank Good luck to both of y'all, all right? Want more Unlocked Phones, DNA Reveals, and Family Drama? Then make sure you're subscribed to The Karamo Show YouTube.